first time we are hearing from the family of the man hit and killed last week while walking down a busy street. Prosecutors say the chain reaction crash began when this man sped his car through the intersection of Benton and Truman Road Wednesday night. His car hit a police car driven by KCPD officer James Mulbauer and then 52 year old Jesse Eckes. KMBC Nice Jackson Kurtz now live near the crash site where a small memorial is forming. And Jackson, you spoke to people who knew Eckes. Yeah, they did. They were just shocked to hear what happened in this tragic incident. If you look, you can see a little memorial that's been placed where this accident happened. Lots of folks still just hurting tonight. Loving, um, caring. He's definitely um, outgoing. He was a gentle giant. He was always trying to put others' needs in front of his own needs. Not in his stature, but for what he did for others. He was just... A guy who, when he knew they were down, he'd try and do something, a joke or something to lift their own spirits. Jesse Eckes was also a caring uncle to his niece, Brittany. I looked up to him a lot. He was like my second dad. Eckes found himself looking for a permanent home when he was killed. And to hear it was Jesse, it's, it's heartbreaking, you know, because what we know is living on the streets is dangerous. His family says it feels like a nightmare that he's gone. Felt like I was in a really bad dream that I wasn't waking up from. I was hurt. They hope justice is served in the death of a man who was trying to get his life back on track. I'm just hurt about the whole thing. I feel like I do feel like the guy should get what he um, the punishment he deserves. People be mindful. Your life is not just your own. Your decisions are not just your own. It, it affects those around you. We're, we're a community. Now, Eggers' family and Hope Faith Ministries plan to have a celebration of life later this year. Live in Kansas City, Jackson Kurtz, KNBC 9 News. All right, Jackson, thanks.